Hey Libra, sorry, I had to do so much to stop this, I mean to, to clear out some storage so I can have room. But yeah, I'm definitely seeing that. Something could have happened here, Libras, okay, with this emperor energy and a person he was trying to invest in. Either this person was extremely childish or this person didn't want children. Okay, and it could have been a situation where it was either multiple miscarriages or multiple terminations. Okay, and this masculine is just realizing that the happily ever after, the stability, the longevity, the dedication, the loyalty, the structure, the tradition that they want, they chose the wrong person for the part. Okay, so I feel like some type of conclusion is being reached before June, but I feel like in these first two weeks of June, this person is revealing themselves to you because they needed to know a few things for certain. They needed to know that they was done with this individual and they needed to know that there was some type of return in the energy between you and them. So you may be also revealing to them or you may be showing signs to this person that you equally interested, which is giving them the green light to approach you. Okay, so why is the hangman in reverse here? They just tired. They tired of settling for less. I feel like whoever this masculine energy is, they've been settling for an energy signature of women that's been beneath them for a really long time. Maybe even fearing that they'll never find anything better. But now better has come along, so it's proof. Like, okay, yeah, I actually can find a woman that wants the same things as me. I don't have to settle for these childish women that just kind of want to run around and do what they want to do. You know, because that's played out to whoever this is. Yeah, this person was in the dark about how you felt about them. I feel like they could have been in a dark place, period. But yeah, this masculine was settling for a really, really long time with somebody that was unapologetic. Now this person is about to be unapologetic about getting on their path. It's like, okay, you unapologetic about being childish and I want to be the mother of my child and I want to be my wife. Okay, that's cool because I found somebody that will fit the description really, really well. So I'm unapologetic about going to go pursue what it is that I want. And I feel like this person was with somebody that just felt like they was going to continue to settle. Like, okay, yeah, my girl out here is still acting like a hot girl, even though we supposed to be committed, engaged, or whatever the case is. But you and this person, y'all share mutual interests. Okay, so it's like y'all could have the same love languages. Y'all can want, y'all can desire the same outcome when it comes down to love and relationships, family. Why is it two of cups here? Yeah, it's like you got this person hard on lock is what I'm seeing. It's like you freed this person from a lot of stigmas. Okay, so I don't know what you've been hanging around this person doing, but for some odd reason, they like inspired by the way that you talk and think because... Not because it's like new to them per se, but it's because this person felt like an alien in their own world. It's like, why am I the only one that wants this? Why am I the only one that thinks that commitment is better than running around? You get what I'm saying? So somebody here is deciding to take themselves out the equation. They don't really think anything positive about the person that they're leaving behind. Maybe it was like extreme attraction and chemistry, but as far as the connection and a deep bond, yeah. I feel like they will be revealing to this individual that they finished. Yeah. They expected more. They had higher expectations of whoever it was that they was trying to give a commitment to. But at this point, this person pretty much feel like I don't have to force a commitment down somebody's throat. When I see somebody here that I feel compatible with, I feel attracted to, I also feel the same chemistry but at the same time, they looking for more. They looking for what I'm looking for, not just on the superficial level. Okay, so this person is learning not to just, not to just uh, base their relationships and their desires of what they want with a person off of looks alone. So I'm pretty sure, like, I get that this person is attracted to you as well, but they attracted to you on many levels. Okay, they attracted to. They attracted to what you stand for, okay? So why is the Knight of Wands here? And they very passionate about you. Yeah, the person they was with didn't want to stop partying, hanging out, just doing too much, being impulsive. 
Okay. They had a bunch of secrets. And I don't know if this masculine got proof on it because I'm getting that it's a lot of stuff that they still don't know about this person that they're leaving behind. It's a lot of stuff that haven't been confirmed, but this masculine can just tell that it's something going on behind the scenes because whoever this is, they refuse to commit. They actually with a woman that refused to commit. Like this seemed like a that a masculine, a good masculine energy is with a woman that's a player. And I just feel like you the person on the outside. You the person that this person want to reveal to. This person is tired of being the one to love and not feeling like they being loved in return. So, yeah. Whew. Okay. So, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? I feel like this is their desires. They want laughing children running around the house. They want to have that bank account full of money so that you guys can take vacations. They want that nice family home. You know, they want holidays to be at their home they want it to be able to invite their parents over and their parents get to relax while you and them is up in the kitchen you're gonna be surprised you're gonna be really really shocked because i don't think you knew that this person felt this way about you what they're getting ready to reveal there could be some differences in y'all faith and belief system okay ten of swords in reverse yeah i'm telling you this this masculine feel like this feminine energy that they've been trying to invest in stole enough of their time, okay? So, Libra, I do feel like you the new person in their life. I don't feel like you this person that they leaving behind. All right, so, yeah, I'm get, I already told y'all the signs. Why is the devil here in reverse? I feel like that's the fear, y'all. Unexpected income. Blockages. Man. This person was a block in their life. Also, I feel like the fear was a block in their life as well. Yeah, stability started to, to seep in because this person was accepting less than what they deserve. And their ancestors was trying to lead you, lead them in the right direction, which they felt was you. This person feel like they can grow old with you. Or this person may feel like they have a mind beyond their time. If this person is younger, then I feel like this person have a very mature mind. Yes, they dealt with somebody that went behind their back and terminated a pregnancy. That was the final straw. And I bet you that person told them that they had a miscarriage. They didn't. They didn't. They absolutely terminated this pregnancy. Why is the emperor in reverse? And this person is tired. Yeah, it's like I'm doing everything for you and you can't even give me a son. So it could have been a, a, a masculine child that this woman was pregnant with. Okay. This masculine just feel like they're not getting what they deserve. They're not getting a relationship and stability that they deserve. And now they see that with you. I feel like this person is already communicating. Wow. When I said distance, I didn't think that it was like another country distance. But it's a possibility. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, yeah. They see you as the privileged lady, which is pretty much the empress. We got community here. So maybe you are very affluent in your community your soul tribe, whatever the case is. Or maybe this person is actually telling people about you and people giving them the thumbs up. Like, yeah, much better than the one that hurt you. Go for it, you know? But they getting some, they getting some type of, they getting some type of green light and indication to come towards you, okay? And this person is serious about committed commitment. So much so that they leaving behind somebody that they thought that they was going to, spend a lifetime with because this person wouldn't get serious enough for them all right this is going to be something that's long term it's going to go the distance so even if you guys are not in different countries and y'all more like in different states then this can be a situation where this person is aware that this has the potential to go the distance okay because you guys both have the same maturity level um and y'all want the same things and both of y'all been feeling like y'all settling for less than that you know, feeling like maybe y'all was the ones that, that was setting too high of, of intentions in this situation, but you weren't, okay? So, Libra, for some of you, y'all could be the Libra masculine. So, if y'all the Libra masculine, yeah, I feel like, you know, your finances could have been suffering because that was spirit trying to tell you, you're not meant to gain your prosperity and abundance in this connection here, Okay? So let's get y'all money energy. We're just going to pull a couple of cards. I actually did post money and career finance and career readings on TikTok. So check me out over there at Empathic Guidance as well. And check out those readings. 
Let's see. All right, Holy Spirit. So what's coming in for Libra as it pertains to their finances? Ooh, okay. Light and yellow. And that person is the one that's weighing you down, Libra. If I'm talking to the Libra masculines, even if I'm talking to the feminines, it's a, it's a man outside of you that is going through this situation. Yeah, somebody is going through a, a separation. They realizing that this person is not meant to be a part of their life purpose and they holding them back from transforming. Okay, so it could be a lot of burdens on this masculine life. They setting themselves free and they looking deeper into themselves. I feel like you serve as an inspiration and they ready for a commitment. It could be a, a lot of difference, differences about you and this individual. I suddenly just got the hiccups out of nowhere. <clears throat> so let's see. Yeah. So this masculine can be feeling like they need to step into their life purpose so that they can really bring in the revenue that they want financially. And I feel like they're going through that transformation right now. So remember when I was telling y'all that their faith is a little different. Yeah, this person really regret allowing this person to be in their life. They see that person as a damn mistake. Because they could have added a lot of burdens and expenses in their life. But this person is working really hard to see some type of change. Alright. But they learning something new as well. Y'all. And they investing in it. I do see that. I do feel like this person is going to reap what they sow. Whatever they invest in, it is going to turn into gold. They just had to close out a cycle with somebody that they wasn't meant to be with. Because that person wasn't meant to be a part of their life purpose. It could have been delays that was caused. Yeah, this person. I'm telling you, it was a feminine that was acting like a damn uh, player. Like a man. Like they was acting like a damn man. But yeah, this masculine is getting it together. You know, but this can also be y'all. Y'all can be learning something new. Figuring that, you know, it's different facets to what it is that you can do. And maybe you want to invest in something different. Because maybe what y'all doing was a stepping stone rather than y'all life purpose. So, yeah, with the emperor here, I do see happiness and expansion between you guys. The will of fortune. You guys are going to bring good luck into each other's lives. And that's the difference between a divine connection and one that's kind of toxic. You know, when you're in a toxic relationship that spirit don't want you in, it's like your money will keep declining, declining, and declining. Um, and they'll, they'll continue to be like... I want to say interruptions when it comes down to what you expecting to come in. Like you could be asking and hoping and even getting signs from the universe that something is about to change and then turn around and, you know, it don't. But that's because spirit don't want you to share your blessings with the person that you hold on to, Libra, for the Libra masculines. If it's your feminine energies, then it's like you and this person, like, yeah, you could have faced some challenges or struggles or whatever, but I feel like you and this masculine getting together, inspiring each other, investing in each other, get you know, basically being each other's strengths, like being providing strength to each other's weak spots, okay? That's what I'm kind of seeing here. So let's see, love, energy. So, who? let's get the love energy. That jump took right in the upright. Y'all, this person feel like you are so unconditionally loving. And I feel like this is new for this person. They never met somebody that loved without terms and conditions. Twin flames, y'all. Wow. Wow. Okay. Now, whether you agree with that or not, I will say this. That when twin flames come out, yes, this can be... Uh, a situation where y'all lives are a complete mirrored image of each other. So again, it could have been both of y'all that had this consciousness lack mindset or limited beliefs when it came down to love and what it is that you can attract in love. It's like now y'all having a brighter perspective. I feel like whoever they leaving behind, this was already this person's second or third chance. They are heartbroken, is what I will say. And they're feeling kind of insecure about the past, but they're going to have to let that go. Yeah, because something that they really thought was for them, it didn't make it to the happily ever after. Now they're walking away, finding themselves. 
Okay, so all of this could have happened to them previously meeting you. Yeah, they realizing. Okay, or you realizing, Libra, if you the one that's going through this. They feel like true love is worth the wait. But whoever this is and they like, they realizing that the love wasn't real. That that person did not love them. It was a one-sided situation. So they opening themselves back up to love. You know, they may feel like they got some spiritual growth to do, some healing to do, some releasing to do. But they walking away to do that. So I'm getting soulmate twin flames, all right? Yes. Leave space so that I can nourish myself to grow. Okay, maybe they took time to do that because that's kind of coming out in reverse. That's indicating, okay, I matured, you know, I went soul searching. I found different aspects of myself that's making me feel drawn to you and making me want to answer the call when it comes down to spirit trying to push me towards something that's going to be healthier for me. So, yeah, this person or you, depending on who you are here, is going through a lot. They've been through a lot, but they persevering and they not losing faith, okay? They met you, you restored their faith because maybe this person thought they'll never find nobody that think on the same wave as them when it comes to love. Okay, so let's see. What is the spiritual lesson here for Libra? What is the spiritual lesson here for Libra? Ooh, okay. What was that? Liberation. Wow, Libra, liberation. Yeah, it's like set yourself free and go where your heart is leading you. And a lot of you want children, and I feel like this person just didn't. This was definitely a radical rebirth after a betrayal. Now, I don't know what the betrayal was outside maybe possibly this person aborting a child of theirs, okay, after they knew that this was what the person wanted, okay? So, again, like I said, I'm talking about the emperor energy. The betrayal in a situation was not only that this person was serving as pretty much a black widow in their life, but it's like they knew they wanted a child. They knew they was trying for a child. And this person went behind their back and did something. Okay? I feel like also this person can be dangerous and that can be spiritually dangerous. I feel like this masculine grieved, but I feel like they mostly grieved over the loss of a child. This person wasn't being honest. I'm telling you, they lied about how they lost this child. Or why, why this masculine did not yield a child out of the situation. Okay, I feel like it's something about you that makes this person feel safe. Because they didn't, and because maybe this person, maybe that even though their partner was immature, unready for commitment, unready for a child, or whatever the case is, or more children, it just depends on how long they was together, or whatever the case is, but I'm definitely getting the energy of. Okay, but they probably didn't feel safe with this person because of whatever you know it's like this could have been one of them situations where it was really toxic really toxic things was being done to keep each other together okay rather that spell work threatening somebody manipulating somebody emotionally whatever the case is but this masculine don't feel safe with this woman you know they could even blackmail them or threaten to tell some of their personal deep business you know to keep them in a connection now this person like i don't give a damn I ain't got no shame, okay? I do not have no shame. So, okay, Libra, whether that was you or whether this is a cross-watcher reading, kudos to you for loving yourself enough to go towards something that's more what you wanted rather than to settle for the, for the cookie crumbs that somebody wanted to give you just because they wasn't ready for what you was ready for, okay? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.